What's going on today, guys? We're back with another YouTube video. First one of the year. Um, today is a special one. I'm actually a little nervous. Um, so today I'm shooting my first NBA game of the year. Um, I haven't shot an NBA game since February of last year. I haven't shot any games since March of last year. So a little nervous just because one, I've been sick the last couple weeks. So it's my first time really doing anything with a lot of energy. So I'm hoping like my body holds up and everything like that. Two, like I said, first game in a long time. And three, like it's just a lot, a lot of different things going on. So I'll be shooting with a new camera. There's gonna be the COVID protocol at the arena. So everything's just gonna be a little bit different than what I'm used to. So just wanted to share with you guys like how I'm feeling before I shoot this NBA game. Um, hopefully we come out with some heat, but yeah, just wanted to get this thing going. So thank you guys for being here. Let's, let's get it. All right, real quick, just before we head out, I just wanna show you guys like what's in my bag. So what I'm gonna be shooting this NBA game with. So we have the 70 to 200, definitely essential just because I'll probably be shooting from pretty far. Uh, the Sony A9, just picked that up like last month, so super excited. This is the new camera that I'm going to be shooting with, so super excited to test that out. Got the 24 to 70 in here. We have my Samsung SSD, try to get those fast imports and exports. We have my laptop for the editing, card reader just so we can import the footage. We have a cloth, keep your lenses clean. We got the AirPods, oh, awkward. There we go. Little J squared AirPods Pros, and we have an extra battery. I lied. So I kind of do this thing where I kind of forget if I have my camera and stuff. So just, <laughs> just to make sure I have my stuff. All right. I think we're good, guys. All right, real quick while we're still in the car, um, just got to the arena. So I'm not sure how much I can actually show. So I'm definitely not gonna overfilm anything. I'm not gonna show you guys like me going in the arena or anything like that. Um, so the next thing you guys will see just like, I'll probably edit some photos for you guys, show you guys what I have, and then show you guys some of the finished product as well as hopefully some video clips of the game. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit.
back home. Uh, right now it's 8.44 p.m. Uh, left the house around 2-ish, I think. No, I lied. <laughs> left the house around 1.30, got to the arena around 2. So the whole process is about six, seven hours. But right now just working on importing the footage. But just wanted to talk a little bit about what that experience was like. Um, it was definitely weird shooting a game with no fans or anything like that. Um, you know, moments where you think like a crowd would erupt. <laughs> it was just like silent and you obviously you have like the recording of a crowd playing like when something good happens, but like it was super weird not really feeling the energy. Like you could hear all that noise, but it wasn't like real energy that you could feel. So I can't even imagine how it was for the players, but I mean in terms of shooting, um, it's just, it's just good to be back, man. Um, it's been about a year. Like I, like I said earlier, I haven't shot a game since, or an NBA game since February, just any level of game since March. So it's been a long time. So I definitely did feel a little bit of rust, but um, I mean, I'll go into, you know, go into the photos and show you guys what I have. We'll edit a few together and just, just so you guys can see like what my work actually looks like. Aside from like looking at Instagram, I can show you guys a little bit of the process. So. I'm actually going to eat dinner tonight and then I'll probably wake up early in the morning, start getting the edits done and send them over to Slam. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and get all this stuff done. All right. I lied. Um, so I went upstairs, watched an episode of Naruto, ate dinner, and now it's about 1040. So after I ate dinner and everything, I came back downstairs and started making my selects from tonight. So. I had 92, 37 photos. Um, I ended up picking 581 pictures. So I really want to edit, but I know I shouldn't. <laughs> so I'll probably wait until the morning. Um, like I said earlier, I'll probably get up a little bit early, but um, you know, after these games, I'm usually just so excited where I just want to <laughs> make all the selects and go ahead and edit everything and just pump it out by the morning. But uh, being that I'm still recovering from being sick, um, I know I need to take care of my body you know get some sleep and everything so yeah i mean just super excited to be shooting again and you know start pumping out some content and my art really i hate to call it content even though like a lot of people will look at it as content which is why i called it that um but anyways i think this year is gonna be the year where a lot of my work is gonna be more well produced instead of you know just going to these games and doing photo shoots and stuff like that i think a lot of my ideas are going to be a little bit more produced and more thought out and more mature so um hopefully this is some sort of marker of me you know making that promise where this year i'm gonna have some work where you know it's gonna make an impact on people you know i know a lot of people have been inspired by like the work i've currently done um but i think it's time to take that to another level and you know really really show people what i'm thinking like what's going on in my head so you know thank you guys so much for being a part of the journey um i'm just kind of going on a, a little rant right now at, you know as we're wrapping up some of this work but yeah this is going to be a good year it's going to be a huge year um you know hopefully by the end of the year we're going to be able to look back on this video and be like okay he he really he really accomplished what he wanted to and you know he kept his word on you know making something that made an impact so anyways all that talk <laughs> um i'm gonna go ahead and get some sleep i'll be back in a couple hours so like i said we made all of our selects here so about 580 pictures or whatever hopefully here let me adjust the camera again all right hopefully we have some good stuff in there um for whatever reason my my gaming pc for editing and stuff like that um the photos weren't showing up on there so i might have to edit on the laptop but we'll check tomorrow oh uh, let's go ahead and get some sleep and then we'll be right back at it tomorrow back at it uh we have our little tea here 
and we're back at the computer so I'm trying to set it up and everything but so everything looks super good here in the library right and then once I go to develop on my computer it says the file could not be found so if anybody has a fix for that let me know um, but otherwise right now I have to edit on the computer on my um, on my laptop so yeah let's get to it at least all right cool so now i finally have you guys on my laptop um looking here looking at lightroom so i made like i said last night i made all of my selects and this is just for the people that are interested in um you know how i edit and everything like that so i'll edit a couple pictures for you guys and then at the end of this i can show you guys like maybe like a little video of a bunch of the pictures so that way at least you guys can get to see more but Let's go ahead and pick, pick out a picture real quick. Um, any day now. Okay, here. Eric Pascal had one. So let's go ahead and edit this. Let's get the little software update out of there. So the first thing you'll do, obviously, is go into the, the develop module. Um, first thing I'll do once this loads up, um, I'll go ahead and click R and then go ahead and crop for Instagram just because that's where this content is going to live. So crop for Instagram. Um, I am a little bit further when I'm shooting the game, so I will actually be able to crop in a little bit. Um, I'm a good thing the Sony's are really good. Nah, this isn't the best picture in the world, but I mean, we have like Michael Mulder's reaction and stuff like that. So we'll just go ahead and edit this one anyway, and then you guys will be able to see the cooler ones later anyway. So first thing I do, I go down here into the tone curve. Me personally, I bring up the blacks a little bit just personal preference and then you go ahead into making your s curve um, bring it down a little bit and start bringing up the mid tones okay so here's a like a before and after so obviously it's a very subtle difference but you know it does make a difference a little bit i actually will bring up the blacks a little bit more this this will also give you that little faded um I guess people will call it film look. I don't really call it a film look, it's just kind of faded, but people say what they want. <laughs> and then the next thing I'll do, I'll go into my hue, saturation, and luminance. Um, me personally, I like to make the yellow a little bit closer to orange. I think it just looks cool personally. But no, nothing too crazy, because like if you go to the extreme, like that doesn't look that good. I mean, that doesn't look terrible, actually. <laughs> That doesn't actually look terrible. I'm going to bring it. There we go. I mean, that, that's, that looks cool. So I'll bring that down. Um, I'll tweak the blues a little bit since the Warriors uniforms are blue. So here's a before and after. That actually doesn't look bad. I don't know what I was talking about. But I'll bring down the saturation on the yellow and then probably pump up the luminance on the yellow as well. And then pump up the luminance on the blue. And so that looks pretty good so far, right? Nothing too crazy. And then, so we haven't even touched like our our main adjustments in terms of like exposure, contrast, and everything like that. So that's where we'll go next. Um, I will add a little bit of contrast, bump up the shadows a little bit, and then I'll bump up the exposure. Just like stylistically, that's what I tend to do a little bit. Um, but you also, like, like just for shooting, you do want to get it in close in camera as possible if you can. Here we go so here's a before and after again we'll just keep going before and after just so you guys see the difference um if anyone wants to ask me any questions about editing definitely feel free um, i'll bring down the blacks here a little bit more exposure and then i'm gonna see what this vibrance uh slider can do for these photos in particular i usually don't bring it up i bring it down personally but let's see what it does here i think it takes away a little bit too much color maybe add a little bit more contrast there we go. So I think that looks pretty good. Um, obviously, again, like not the best picture in the world, but here's a shortcut. So once you have your photo edited, um, if you're editing in order, you can go to the next picture and hit, oh, there we go. Option Command V. And every single edit that you just made for that previous photo will transfer to the next photo. Or if you're not editing in order, you could hit Command C and it'll bring up this little screen right here. Um, you could go ahead and copy that and then go back to whatever photo you might want to edit here. We could just pick a random one. So let me go ahead and just like go to a random spot like here. So 
go back to the develop module and then if you hit command v all of those same edits that you just copied will come over so obviously this doesn't look the best um it's a little blown out so once you have that you just kind of make your adjustments based on every single photo so here i'll bring it down like here the yellow looks a little bit too weird to me um it's not terrible but that's probably where i'll probably bring it back a little bit to how it was earlier but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and edit these photos. Um, I wouldn't wanna take you guys through all 581 of them just because that would take a little bit of time. Um, I'm gonna knock out these edits and then once I have all of them edited, I'm gonna pick a few good ones, put them in a little sequence for you guys and that way at least you guys can see me um, a little bit more of my work instead of again, like what's just, just what's living on my Instagram.